Hi everybody, Martin the Flicking Feathers again today and I'm tying a Charlie Boy hopper for you. As always there will be materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page if you want access to the members only content and uh, links to the social media for Flicking Feathers. So I've got my hook my vice. Got to start my thread. This is just Danville's six saw tan. Trim away my waist. Got to tie down just a wee scrap of foam. Any old cutting of foam you've got will do. We stop right at the start of the bend. We take my f a strip of two mil foam that's like the what's the gap. I like that I fold it in half. I sort of pre cut it. I know the length that I need anyway, so I pre cut it, and then I measure it against the hook. Right, I'm showing you on your side, and I'll put a hole where I want it coming through. And I'll slide that. And you'll be able to see if I put that here then that the when you pull that up the foam kicks up a bit. Like that's what you want. And then let's use the hook I just to mark the foam. Again, then I'll take my scissors. Pierce that through. It gives me something like this, right? The real strip of foam will help stop it twisting once it's glued. The threads at the back here, and everything's ready to go. So, what I do to take the tension off the foam, I just sort of hang my bobbin on my vise. Then I'll paint a wee bit of glue on with the brush on the entire upper side and I'll get a wee bit under the foam and all that here. But you don't, very light, you don't need a lot. Take this back, pinch it shut, make sure it's lined up. We need a wee touch more glue. Though less is definitely better than more. You don't want to flood it and have the glue squeezing at the side and give you the crusty edges. As, as little glue as you can get away with. And you can see here I'm bending the foam up as I stick it. I'll just come and pinch it. Make sure it's all together. Kind of lined up. And then. a couple of wraps. Let's get my thread forward for the first segment. Right. Now you want to think of look four, right, so it's quarters. So you need four segments. 
but you're going forward, you're skipping three times. Right, you're no you're not making f you're not making four bands in the body. It's three you make sure. Right, then I've got this. And you can see four kind of even segments and the threads just skipped across each time. And the back is sort of curving up. I'm going to take a double edge razor blade, which is lie it in the back, and I start at one end of the blade. Right, I want to do this in one smooth cut. And I just glide back and out in a, in a single slicing motion. to get that slightly tapered edge. Now it's a wee bit long so I'm going to just trim that back a bit before I knock the end off and then I'll just trim the sides with my scissors to taper it a wee bit. Then I'll do the same with the head, I'll just knock the corners off. Gives you a lovely wee hopper profile. Legs up to you. I'm using just using round rubber. I'm going to take my thread back to the second segment, so I've got a wee X at the top, just offer these in one, two turns, it's fine, then you can position your legs, another turn's enough to hold it, and then I'll come back to the front here. You can still play with these a wee bit, get them sitting how you like. These look quite good. Leg length's up to you. I like to leave them a wee bit longer than the body. But make sure they're the same length. And maybe let... To this, exactly on the slider side or slightly below. And then... We'll just pull the legs forward, both together, catch them in at the front. Again, just take your time, get them positioned. And cut these shorter, about a half or a third of your, the length of your back legs. Wing has just deer hair or elk hair, doesn't really matter what you use. And it's up to you how much. Um, because I'm going to be using these on somewhere that's quite slow flow and it's um, flat water really, but it has got a lot of grasshopper activity, um, I'm going for quite a light wing. So, get my deer here, clean out the, the waste, or the underfoot and all that. And get it in the stacker. Length, I like it. I mean, again, it's your fly, it's up to you. You can have it longer. I like it just sort of coming to the back of the body. Catch it in. And take turns, two or three turns. Through the butts, you can tighten up as you go. Make sure you don't disturb your legs. That three turns is plenty. And I'll just gather up all this waste, 
all my butt ends. Put it straight up. Come in and trim that. You can then come in and tidy it up if you need to. fibre I've missed. And that's the tie and done. Just whip finish. Through the butt ends there. Turn that over. We'll just put a wee spot of head cement on these wraps along the bottom. Don't worry about getting into foam, it's fine. Um, if you want, you can just wipe the excess with your finger. That doesn't really matter. And then, this part calls for eyes. I mean, I don't know how much difference it makes, but people seem to like them. So, I'll just dot an eye on the front there. And there you have it, that's the Charlie Boy Hopper. Very effective hopper pattern. Works for trout, bass, carp, panfish. Anything you should really. So, I hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Take lines, guys. Bye.